Um, they go by many names, but all of them are going to be this basic shape here. You can see that. Now, um, just to give you a basic overview, see how there's an angle here that's straight, and then another one there that's straight, and here's one that's slanted, another one here that's slanted. Um, the rule when you're making the sphere is that straights always go with the straight ones. The straight edges go with the straight edges. And the slanted ones go with the slanted ones. And they interlock. And what you're creating when you're doing the sphere is going to be a five petal flower right at this point here. So again, the slanted ones going with the slanted ones and this hooks in there. Don't be afraid to bend these. Again, the slanted one hooks and then hooks and once again slanted one goes right in there hooks and then hooks. What you have is the base of the sphere. It's also the base of other shapes, so this is a good one to know. And if you count there, there's one, two, three, four, five petals, called the five petal flower. And around it, or actually you can see here, those are straights. And they hook together. And these are actually going to form a three petal flower. So we'll go to the next part here. And see the, uh, the straight edge there? Hooks right there. And that hooks in right there and that hooks in right there, and you'll notice that both of where it hooks in are two slanted edges, and they hook in to each other. Again, those two slanted edges hook in, and there's the three petal flower. So you have the five petal flower and the three petal flower. Go to the next section, and you just go around again to straight, hooks right there, hooks in right there, and then Two of the slanted ones, hooks right in. Go to the next part, again. That hooks in right there, and that hooks in right there. Next part, straight one. And see, again, notice it's the three petal flower that the straights are going to create. What's amazing about this is that if you continue doing this, it's actually going to create a sphere. Part. See that? Uh, there's that. So you see, you got the five petal right there, and it's surrounded by three petal. All right, and along the edge are three of a five petal. Now you really need to do is complete that five petal. There it is. We'll go to the next one. Again, slanted one. Goes into it with that one. Hooks there. Hooks there. There's a space there. See, there's only four. We're going to finish it. And make five. That hooks there. And that hooks right there. We're going to continue along, finishing off these three petals and turning them into five petals. That hooks there, and that hooks there. So we only have four again. We're going to make that into five. Alright, one more here to go. Three petal, turn it into a. Now it's a four petal. More piece. Hooks there. Hooks there. Alright. And the last one, I believe, this one. So three petals. There's the fourth. And that's going to hook in with the other straight edges there. And that's going to hook right there. So there's one missing on this. One, two, three, four. So you need one right there. You can kind of see where it goes. And that's going to hook there. 
tucks in. Let's see this. It's all about putting it behind it. And that's see the, the three pedal there. There we go. Look at this. We're about halfway there, a little over halfway. Now we're going to go around and see how we have these two here. Those should be three petal flowers all the way around. Two, two. And those are the straight edges. So we're going to lead with the straight edges. Hooks in there. Hooks in there. Now there's three. And then there's three, and that'll later be a five petal. Both there and there. Alright, next one. See, straight edge, creating a three petal flower. Hooks in there. And hooks in right like that. Next one. Hooks there. Hooks there. Hooks right there. Next one. Hooks there. Hooks there. And hooks right there. Next one. See, that's a straight edge. Hooks there. So it creates a three petal. Hooks there. And hooks right there. Look at this. We're almost done. Now we have some four petal flowers here that need to be five petal flowers. So slanted edge goes underneath there. You see that? That's where it goes in. It doesn't, you know, hook in there. It hooks right underneath there. Hooks there. And then those hook up together. And we'll just continue on here. There's the four petal. And that makes it a five petal. And that hooks into there, finishes that three petal. That hooks there. That's going to be the top of the sphere. That hooks there. So again, four petals there. So let's add one more and make it a five petal. That hooks in there. That hooks there. And that hooks there. When you're doing this, try to hook as many as you can as early as possible. See that? That's going to do that. And this is going to make the five petal flower there, that makes there, and this hooks there. Alright, we're to the final piece. This, for everybody, and everybody, is the hardest part of, me, of doing this. Um, you can see where it goes, you know, it just hooks right there. You can see there's like a space, perfect for it. There's uh, two there, so you need to, you know, that is going to go there and make the three petal. That will make the five petal. That will make the three petal. And there will make the five petal. So you see exactly where it goes. So the best way to do this, start out with the three petal. So you finish that three petal there. And then do this corner here. So you're going to lift right there and bend it and hook in there. So you've got these two hooked. And you need to hook these two to those. So what you do is bend this down and under and hook this end right like that and then pull this guy out while that one's hooking in now you can get a grip here pull this out and hook that in. Ta-da! Completely done.